North Korea has unveiled its next-generation main battle tank, the Kianma-2, formerly known as the M2024. This new tank represents a significant leap in the country's military development, combining features from foreign designs with North Korean technological adaptations. The Kianma-2 incorporates a turret resembling the American M1A2 Abrams and integrates elements from Russian tanks, including explosive reactive armor and active protection systems. This hybrid design showcases North Korea's effort to modernize its armored vehicle capabilities, while aiming for greater technological self-sufficiency. The official unveiling of the Kianma-2 took place on May 29, 2024, during a visit by Kim Jong-un to the North Korean Academy of Defense Development. Previously referred to as M2020 and M2024, the tank's new name, Kianma-2, translates to Heavenly Horse, reflecting the evolution of North Korea's tank production which began with Soviet and Chinese models like the T-34 and Type 59. The Kianma-2 signifies a leap into a new era of military technology, focusing on enhancing domestic production and reducing reliance on foreign imports. North Korea's tank development history dates back to the 1970s and 1980s, beginning with the Kanmaho series, inspired by Soviet designs. Over the years, the country's tanks have seen gradual improvements in firepower, mobility, and armor. The introduction of the Sun Gun 915 in the 1990s marked a shift toward greater internal development, though foreign technologies remained integrated. With the Kianma 2, North Korea is now taking a more advanced approach, using lessons learned from Russia, China, and the United States to create a modern combat vehicle. The Kianma 2 features a turret design that clearly takes inspiration from the US M1A2 Abrams. The turret is equipped with 21 explosive reactive armor blocks and six smoke grenade launchers for battlefield concealment. Additionally, a laser warning receiver alerts the crew when the tank is targeted by enemy laser-guided systems, enhancing survivability. The turret also includes a rotating anti-tank guided missile launcher, which is similar to the tow system used on the US Bradley, and could potentially fire Bolsi-3 missiles, which resemble the Russian Cornet. In terms of armament, the Kianma-2 is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun, similar to the Soviet 2A46, capable of firing various projectiles, likely paired with an autoloader. The tank also features secondary armament, including a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 30mm automatic grenade launcher. These weapons provide the Kianma-2 with versatility in both long-range engagements and close combat situations. The chassis of the Kianma-2 bears a strong resemblance to the Russian T-14 Armata, with enhanced side protection from 10 ERA blocks on each side. The tank's design includes several advanced features, such as a panoramic sight for the commander, meteorological sensors, and observation systems. The tank is powered by a 1,200 horsepower engine, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 65 km per hour and has an estimated weight of 50 to 55 tons. The Kianma 2's development marks a crucial step in North Korea's military evolution. It is a powerful symbol of the country's determination to strengthen its defense capabilities and reduce its reliance on foreign technologies. While questions remain about its performance in combat and the potential issues surrounding its manual loading system, the Kianma 2 is a clear signal that North Korea is advancing its military industry. As tensions continue to rise on the Korean peninsula, the Kianma-2 will play a key role in Pyongyang's strategy to maintain a robust military deterrent against regional threats. The introduction of the Kianma-2 highlights North Korea's ambition to modernize its military and adapt foreign technologies to suit its own strategic needs. While its true combat effectiveness remains to be tested, this new tank represents a significant step forward for North Korea's armored forces, ensuring it remains a formidable power on the Korean peninsula.